our sawmill uh, folks down in the area where I'm from and even further into the central part of the state and, and southern part of the state, they're struggling. And, um, you know, as they continue to try to, uh, uh, one, go through this economy and then, two, try to, you know, they're not trying to get away from paying taxes. Uh, they just want to be classified like they should be classified as agriculture. You know, we're not very responsive. Uh, this continues to take three or four years before it to get into effect. To me, that's not responsive. When you're today, you're struggling to make it meet today, and uh, I felt like that. You know, maybe this is year we can finally get this and, and, and help those that are family-owned businesses in our area. Some of these places is a sole income that they have, and there's as testimony was in in the uh, in the hearing that there's not even a McDonald's down there. There's not a restaurant, not a fast food, not a gas station to get a secondary income from. So, what they make is off of this off the sawmill and. Uh, if the demand is low, um, it's low, and they can't uh, make extra income from it. So it, it's, it's, uh, it's very important that it's done for economic benefit um, to keep those jobs going in those areas because, like you said, people are just they're kind of saying we're done and they're leaving the areas, and I don't think that's what we're wanting in our, for our rural communities in, in Missouri. It's um, unfortunate, but... Uh, it's not on the radar for a lot of people. If you don't, if you're not from those areas, it doesn't mean a whole lot to you. And uh, so, there's so many things that go across. Uh, maybe a state senator's desk in a daytime or throughout a, 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 a session. That this is probably one of those things that doesn't get a whole lot of uh, uh, airtime. But uh, it really is important to those people, and that's why it's uh, important to uh, to rural legislators to continue to push this out year after year. The budget's been very tight, and any any time you would move things around a little bit, even in the county area, uh, those those uh, even it may be a small amount, it has an effect. Um, so, I can understand one hand why you would not, you know, wouldn't want to do it, but on the ha other hand, I, I really believe that uh, you know it'd be advantage to uh, the locations to do it because it would uh, increase, op hopefully, more economic development in those areas.